Seventh grade, unit two, lesson one. One of these things is not like the others. Number one, which of these shapes is not like the others? Explain what makes it different by representing each width and height pair with a ratio. The widths are five units, 10 units, and 10 units. The heights are four units, eight units, and six units. The ratios for the shapes are 5 to 4, 10 to 8, and 10 to 6. The 5 to 4 ratio is equivalent to the 10 to 8 ratio. Because 10 to 6 is not an equivalent ratio with 5 to 4 and 10 to 8, shape C is not like the others. Number 2. In one version of a trail mix, there are three cups of peanuts mixed with two cups of raisins. In another version of trail mix, there are four and five-tenths cups of peanuts mixed with three cups of raisins. Are the ratios equivalent for the two mixes? Explain your reasoning. One version of the trail mix has a three to two ratio, and the other version has a four and five-tenths to three ratio. 4 and 5 tenths is the same as 4 and a half, so we could call that a 4 and a half to 3 ratio. I'm going to illustrate what a 3 to 2 ratio and a 4 and 5 tenths to 3 ratio would look like. The green represents 3 units, and the 2 represents 2 units. On the left, that's a 3 to 2 ratio. On the right, we have a 4 and 5 tenths ratio to 3 ratio. When you compare these two sizes, you can see that 3 is 1.5 times larger than 2, and 4 and 5 tenths is 1.5 times larger than 3. This illustration shows that 3 halves is the same as 1.5, and, and it also shows that 4 and 5 tenths is 3 halves, or 1.5 times larger than 3. This illustration also shows that 3 is 3 halves or 1 and a half times larger than 2. Since 3 times 1 and a half equals 4 and 5 tenths and 2 times 1 and a half equals 3, they are equivalent ratios. Number 3. For each object, choose an appropriate scale for a drawing that fits on a regular sheet of paper. Not all of the scales on this list will be used. A. A person. Well, the average height for an adult person is probably between 5 and 6 feet, so let's use 5 and 6 feet. A 1 inch to 1 foot scale would work. A 6 foot tall person would be drawn 6 inches tall on the scale drawing. B. A football field. 120 yards by 53 and a third yards. Since a football field is not as long as a thousand sheets of paper, you could use the scale of one to a thousand and fit the scale drawing of the football field on one sheet of paper. C. The state of Washington, which is about 240 miles by 360 miles. Since 360 miles is almost 2 million feet, and one piece of paper is almost a foot long, I'm going to pick 7, a scale of 1 to 10 million. D. The floor plan of a house. For a floor plan of a house, I would pick a scale of 1 centimeter to 1 meter. And finally, E, a rectangular farm, 6 miles by 2 miles. For this, I would select 5, a scale of 1 to 100,000. For example, for every 1 inch of the scale drawing on the piece of paper, it would represent 100,000 inches towards the 6 miles in length. There's 380,160 inches in 6 miles. With the scale of 1 to 100,000, you could represent 6 miles with less than 4 inches. 
Number four, which scale is equivalent to one centimeter to one kilometer? C, one to 100,000. There's 100,000 centimeters in one kilometer. Number five, A, find three different ratios that are equivalent to seven to three. A ratio of seven to three is equivalent to a ratio of 14 to 6, 21 to 9, and 28 to 12. B. Explain why these ratios are equivalent. 7 times 2 is 14 and 3 times 2 is 6. 7 times 3 is 21 and 3 times 3 is 9. 7 times 4 is 28, and 3 times 4 is 12. Since the 7 and the 3 are both multiplied by 2, 3, and 4 respectively, they are equivalent ratios.